Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan Miller with Growth Stimulus Training TV. Today's video is another Your Question, My Answer. And today's question comes from a nutrition client of mine whose name is David. Now, this particular question deals with post-workout meal timing. And I'd like to just read off what he says and then let's get into my answer. David writes, I was taking my post-workout straight after training, which meant that my pre- and post-workout meals we're coming within two and a half hours of each other. He asks if he needs protein straight after the gym, and he also asks if he needs carbs within 20 minutes of training. Now when it comes to the two particular things that David asked about, being the protein immediately after a workout and the carbs within 20 minutes of his training session, um, those are essentially myths that aren't factual. So David, you don't have to have your protein immediately after your training session and there's a larger window than 20 minutes to have your carbs post-workout. One great way to schedule your post-workout meal timing is to actually not schedule it around your actual workout. It's to schedule it in accordance of when you ate your pre-workout meal. This makes things a whole lot easier for you because instead of worrying about having to get that meal in immediately after your workout, which is really nonsensical, you can simply worry about eating the next time your next meal comes up. So let's say you had your pre-workout meal two hours before your workout. So you had the two hour time frame plus your workout, which should be roughly 60 minutes, um, depending on the day. So that's gonna add up to three hours total. Now ideally, for me, I like to eat every three to four hours because I like to eat five meals a day and it just works out that those five meals break apart in a three to four hour time frame from the time that I wake up to the time that I go to bed. So essentially, you would have your two hours before your workout, you would have your workout, and those times would add up to three hours. So I could go anywhere from right after my workout to another hour or even longer if I wanted more time between my pre and post workout meals. The main point of this answer really becomes that you don't need to base your post workout meal around your actual workout. If you want to keep it simple, base it around when you ate your last meal and just eat when you get hungry again or eat according to your own personal schedule that you set for yourself. Many people follow different nutrition regimens. Some people eat twice a day. Some people eat eight times a day. Regardless of your nutrition schedule, if you center your post-workout meal around your previous meal or around your just around your basic nutrition schedule that's going to be the easiest and there's nothing wrong with doing that you're not going to see a decrease in, in results from your training just because you didn't get your meal in immediately after your workout all right david i wish you continued success on your current bulk let's keep that size coming and remember don't be afraid to ask any questions you have i love answering questions for my clients you give me the business I support you in return. So thanks again to everyone. Thanks for watching. If you have a question that you'd like answered, send it my way, ryan at growthstimulustraining.com. Thanks again.